there and welcome to my channel i would like to introduce myself as garabo and this is called the accounting girl please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't make sure you like this video and make sure you share this video as you can tell by the title this video will will be about all things you need to know on how to get into a bcom accounting degree with low maths marks before we get into this video, I want you to know that your maths mark does not actually define you or define your capabilities and that there's always another way to get into university. You just need the right information. So let's actually jump right into the video. As you can see, I have my notepad here because there are points that I do not want to forget. <laughs> I don't want to forget them. As you can tell by the title, this video is all about how you can get into a BCom accounting degree with low maths marks. And these maths marks could be your grade 11 marks or your final matric year marks. Unfortunately, you can want to do something and your maths mark be preventing you from getting into the actual degree that you want. And a lot of the times in high school, they don't tell you about all of the options you have and that is why I am here because I want to tell you about your options. The first university that I'm going to be focusing on is UNISA. UNISA actually has different types of bridging programs that you can use to get into the actual BCom accounting degree majoring in financial sciences. So the first thing is that you can actually do a higher certificate majoring in accounting sciences for one year. This is actually a qualification on its own so after doing the highest certificate you're actually going to have quote unquote a qualification because you're going to graduate as well during this highest certificate you're going to be doing 10 modules which includes um financial accounting one two tax management accounting commercial law business management concepts of accountancy english in total it's 10 modules um i obviously don't remember all of them but I'm around there. So those are the 10 modules that you're gonna be looking at. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, how do you even qualify for something like this? So the only thing to actually look at is your APS score. And your APS score has to be 17 and above. They don't look at your maths mark, they don't look at your English mark at all. Um, yeah, it's just a 17, 17 if your score that you need and above. So you can also apply for this if you got a higher certificate for your actual matric results, if you got a diploma or if you got a bachelor's degree passed, a BD pass, um, you can also qualify for it and actually study it for that whole year. During that year, you're going to then apply to get into the degree, the BCom degree that you want. Um, at UNISA, I know there's five different BCom degrees that they have, but obviously this video is just mainly for if you want to be a CA and you want to go into BCom accounting. Um, and then at the end of the year, you're going to write your exams and then after writing your exams, you're going to send in your results and then you're going to wait for an outcome before and during the registration um, period, which is January for UNISA students. Um, another one that they do have is a diploma. So if you qualify for the diploma one, you can also do a diploma first um, for one year and then do the BCom um, degree. I'm just not sure the, of the requirements, so I'm going to look for them and I will put them up so you can see what the requirements are for a diploma majoring in accounting sciences. So that is just UNISA in total. Um, and then the second um, institution we're going to be looking at is UJ. UJ also has a diploma that you can use as a bridging course going into the BCom degree. I will try and look for the perspectives and I will also add it up so you guys can see what the qualifications are for that. I mean, the requirements for that. Um, this, this video is just mainly for UNISA um but there is there is one at uj i do know that and another thing that universities actually have these are like counting all universities and this is if you've gotten um between 40 percent and 49 percent you can actually apply for a bcom extended degree um and during this you're also going to be it's it's kind of like a higher certificate as well but it's not it's just called a bcom extended the first year is you bridging into the main degree because obviously you didn't qualify to do the main degree. Every university in South Africa has this one. So if you have 
um, if you're actually doing your matric year this year or you're doing grade 11 or you just finished your grade 11, um, I do urge you to apply at UNISA because you don't know what the outcome of your results will be. We all hope to get distinctions and to get really, really high marks, but unfortunately, the outcome is not always what we want. So always have a backup plan, um, which could be um, UNISA. This is something that they don't tell us in, in, in high school, which doesn't make sense because you need all the information you can get um when it comes to how you can get into university you cannot be the best student in a in in, in maths but be an excellent student in varsity you know high school does not define our capabilities whatsoever and i think every student um deserves deserves a chance to get into um the university they dream of or they want or just the career that they want so i hope that this video was actually helpful for you or if you know anyone who needs the, the help, then I hope you can forward this video to them and let them know that they do have options. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel and you like this video. And I will see you next time.